lady, we've all been waiting for. We're located inside the Arts Factory in downtown Las Vegas in the Arts District. The Arts Factory has been around for 20 years, so it is the heart of this community. We're always just getting really incredible people coming through here from all over the world. So we're really literally in the middle between Fremont Street and the Strip. Well, basically, Sin City Gallery is an offshoot, offspring, I should say, of my academic studies. I have a doctorate in human sexuality, I have a PhD in erotology and museum science, and I just have this incredible love for art in this particular niche of art, where it's sophisticated, it's sexy, basically sex education through art. Seeing is believing. The current exhibit is Bunny Yeager, and we are so proud to have her work here at the gallery. Bunny passed away two weeks ago, untimely so, no one was really expecting it, and we had this show planned over a year ago, and now it's just even more important that this work be seen because she was such a pioneering spirit. She influenced Cindy Sherman, Diane Arbus, I mean, pinup community, photographers, Bruce Weber, you name it. She had such an influence and it's just such an honor to have her work here. She started as a model and then she took classes on photography and then wanted to start shooting photos. And I think the women that she was photographing felt very at ease with her. I mean, she would tell them, sparkle. You know, and she'd get these incredible shots from them. And word got out that Bunny was an incredible person to shoot with. So people were actually coming to her rather than her going out and finding people. People really just enjoyed her work, trusted her, and just enjoyed working with her. She introduced the bikini to the U.S. from France in 1948. So if you wanted a bikini, you would go to Bunny. So she was a big hit in Miami and kind of grew. And into other things. She was a photographer for Playboy. She actually would do scouting for Hugh Hefner back in the 50s. She did eight spreads, centerfold spreads for Playboy. A lot of people don't know that one. Uh, she produced film. She did the set designs, the clothing designs. She wrote scripts. I mean, she was just a one woman, incredible force of nature. She did everything. For someone who started up as a pinup artist, uh, she has crossed over. She had an exhibition at the Warhol Museum where it was all about her selfies. And it's kind of interesting because today we think, oh, it's all about the selfie, but she was doing that back in the 1950s. The last two years, we've been named one of the best 25 galleries in the country, so it's definitely a must-see. We've been featured on The Ethical Hedonist on the Travel Channel, which can be seen in Europe. Uh, it's a good place to visit, and it's a great community to come see. Sin City Gallery is growing. Uh, we're going to be having some traveling shows that go to San Francisco and New York, primarily around our 12 Inches of Sin. Uh, every year, the gallery produces an international juried art show. All artwork has to be 12 inches in size and under because the gallery is so small, and so we basically called it 12 of Sin. It's turned out to be our most provocative show of the year. We had 250 submissions from 18 countries last year. We produce art catalogs around it. They're being picked up in retail stores. So we'll be taking 12 on the road. Here physically at the gallery, we're also going to have a New Zealand artist, a Las Vegas artist, an artist from San Francisco. I mean, it's just constantly changing, growing. We're just trying to make the exhibitions become more and more sophisticated and a little bit more edgy, too. SinCityGallery.com. And you can also see 12ofSin.com to find out more about the International Jury Art Show.